proceed, but don't succeed. Well, the devil will take their heads. Oh, wow, that's steep. It's really dark. So uh, I guess we're just gonna start a new game. This looks really cool. Like the music. Okay, once upon a time, in a magical place called Ingwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise elder Kittle. One day the two boys wandered far from home and, the, despite the elder Kittle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. With one more roll and win... Uh, win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for throw. Good gosh, Cuphead! No, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. He looks really creepy. Not creepy, but just, like, menacing. Especially if you were those little cups or mugs cups and mugs, whatever. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. Th there must be another w way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, p please, Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. He I ha have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me and I might just pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls, and otherwise I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. Oh, well. what a fine pickle you, you boys have gotten yourself into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you be you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. Oh wow, that's a cool animation. It will give you the most remarkable magic abilities. Also, you did the milady, I think. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You'll, you need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Okay. Weep, weep. Oh, cool. This is kind of cool. Okay, tutorial. The tutorial. Oh, I've seen this before. Dog, hold down to crouch. Jump. Tap for, sh for short jump, hold for high jump. Oh, I'm gonna like. Is this like a double jump? Dash. Quick evade on ground to air. Okay. Descend. Shoot, hold for rapid. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, parry slap. Press jump while airborne to nullify and direct with pink objects. This also builds your super meter. That's kind of cool, actually. That's actually... I heard a lot about the parrying being really hard. We're not create an attack that requires one super meter card. Oh, cool. Coin. Collect coins to purchase items from the shop. That's kind of cool. Hey, die. And exit. Yeah. Sure. Okay. 
Also, I've looked a bit into this game, like, it's like, to like obviously know what it is about before I bought it. So, it, oh, whoops. Did I just, okay. Exit to map. Um, yeah. So, basically, oh, this looks kind of cool. I like the, like, top-down perspective on this. But yeah, um, just a quick note. I'm, oh, what is this? What? Um, this guy, hey. Hey, fellas, looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going through the pictures. But hey, li let me give you a hand. Take this. Oh, wow, three gold coins. Check this. Well, two, one, well, two, well, three finale. Oh, so they have three. World? It's kinda cool. Is this like oh soul contract? So it, that's like all the bosses, I'm guessing. And then the so there are five bosses right here in this world and then two I'm gonna guess those are the run gun run guns run and guns, I think they were called. I what I saw a little bit like I read a little bit about it. So what's this? Forest Follies, run and gun. Yeah, okay, so so basically this is like, there are two different kinds of like things you can play, do Run and guns, which are like, run and guns, run, like running, like a side scroller kind of experience. And there are also the bosses, which you need to defeat the game, to like beat the game. Shop. Porcrine's Emporium, enter. Ooh. Wow, okay. I don't know why, but this just gave me the biggest, the biggest, like, this gave me the biggest nostalgia, like, the biggest, I just got, that this, I'm at a loss of words right now. This, like, gave me the, like, gave me chills. This looks so nostal nostalgic to, like, cartoons I would watch when I was smaller. Oh my god, everything from like the way he's standing, like the perspective, to like the music. Oh my god. I don't like saying this because I know everyone else is saying like, Oh, the art style is amazing, but this is looks just so nostalgic to me. I don't know why I got so nostalgic over this. Anyways, this is a shop, so yeah. These are, this is the, the stuff you can buy. So, Chaser. EX Chaos Orbit. Long range, long range with below average damage. No aiming required. That sounds pretty overpowered. But below average damage. Mm. Hard. Extra hit point. Adds an additional hit point, but slightly weakens your attack power. Hmm. Maybe. Spread. Ex. Eight way. Short range with great damage. If you can keep close to your target. Oh. Wow. Smoke bomb. Invisible dash. You will not take damage during a dash, a great defense maneuver. That actually sounds really cool. That sounds like something I would use. Especially if there are like a lot of enemies. Because I've heard it can get like kind of like a bullet hill. This is kind of like a bullet hill game. At least some of it is. So that sounds really useful. And then round, roundabout. Great coverage with average damage. Aim backward for maximum range. What? Okay. So out of all of this, the one that really stands out to me, for me is the smoke bomb, so I'm gonna buy that. Oh wow, you don't even get to like, to like, like, re, to like, make sure you want to buy that. Pea sugar, automatic parry. The first parry move is automatic. All you need to do is jump. Eh, uh, mm, sounds, mm, nah. If it was like all parries were automatic, then that would be kind of cool. You got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. I will. Oh, so this is the thing. What do I do here? Charm. Oh, smoke bomb. Okay, so... Oh, I get it now. So you can have two shots. They're like... Oh, cool. What is this? Root pack in Botanic Panic. Oh, so this is, a, is this a boss? I think this is a boss. 
difficult translation, simple and regular. I feel like I feel like if I know games, this is like reg regular and this is hard. And they say simple regular just to like cheer you up if you know your better games. I'm gonna go regular, so Here's a real high class belt. Here goes. Ah, cool. Ah, ah. <gasps> Perry! What I parried? I so parried that. This is kind of cool. Oh no! Oh no! This is kind of cool, actually. Ooh! Did I kill him? Hey, boss! Oh what? Hey, dude! What are you doing? Oh no! He's crying. Oh, what? Let's see. That was kind of. I really didn't know what I was doing there. So I can parry the pink objects I need to remember, but then. Hmm. I feel like it's a good idea to use the. I don't really see what else I would use the. What? I. I'm feeling some weird input delay right now. What? How did it shoot that way? What? That's so weird. Don't know why that. Uh, why, why that second, like, onion guy came. Oh, am I playing like more than one boss? I guess it's called the root pack. That's kind of weird though. What? Didn't even see that last water drop. Okay, he's already down. Is that another phase? What's this? Oh, I have to shoot them. Okay. I feel like you can kind of just stand still with this one. Oh, no, definitely not. Hey, okay. Knock out. That was actually really cool. Like you get, it's like really intense, and I like the difficulty. That's probably just me being bad, but I mean, cause I died on the first boss. That's really bad, actually. Oh. Great, A minus. Wow, okay. Guess it didn't count my. My what's it called? Guess it didn't count my like. Uh, my fail at the start. Yeah, that's cool. Let's now stare. Oh wow! Soul contract. The root pack. Get the root pack. Soul contract. It was this guy. Harumph! I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a corner too. Good for him. That's what I say. Harumph. Oh wow, what? Cutting corners. I'm finding easter eggs. There's a lot of cool stuff to explore here. But I'm gonna leave it there just because, you know. I don't wanna make the video too long, you know, daily uploads and all of that good stuff. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm tired, I need to edit. I've had a busy day. Bye!